Now my dear students, today we are start the new chapters in crash course that is solid state. My dear students, I give you all the concepts which are used in this chapter in solid state and uh, we take the total number of questions uh, from this 20 or 30 years. That's why you are this chapter is, you are comfortable in this chapter and your chapter is very good and uh, it's prepared for the neat point of view and competitive point of view. Now, my dear students, we can take the first question which is asked in 1993. Here you can see the first question in this crash course that is the pure crystalline substance on being heated gradually first forms a turbid liquid at constant temperature and still at high temperature. Turbidity completely disappears. The behavior is a characteristic of substance forming what is the behavior of that solids. My dear students, what is the theory of this behind? You can write this theory and concept liquid crystals. Liquid crystals on heating first become first become turbid and then and then on further heating turbidity is completely disappear. So, my dear students you can see here turbidity is completely disappears. So, when this is it is a liquid crystals. So, your answer is my dear friends that is the liquid crystal question number 1. Now, we can see here question number 2 glass is a my dear students glass is a super cool liquid super cool liquid always called glass it is a theoretical and you can see in this uh, your NCD books also uh, your state books also glass is a super cool liquid which forms a non glass is a super cooled liquid glass is a super cooled liquid which forms which forms a non crystalline non crystalline solid without a regular lattices. So, my dear students this is a theory. So, your answer is C is the correct answer. Now, we can go to the question number third. Most crystals show good cleavage because their atoms, ions or molecules are my dear students these are arranged in planes. Most crystals show good cleavage because their atoms, ions or molecules are arranged in planes. Now, my dear students we can go to the next question and this that is the question number 4. The ability of a substance to assume two or more crystalline structure is called it is a theoretical question my dear students. Ability of substance to assume two or more crystalline structure in which crystalline structures are two or more then my dear students it is called polymorphism. What is the name of this compound? This is called polymorphism. Question number fourth answer is B. Now, we can go to the question number fifth. Cation and anion combine in crystal to form following type of compounds. My dear students, you can see when this cation NaCl, Na plus ions and Cl minus ions are combined with each other to form NaCl and this compound is called ionic compound. Why my dear students this is called ionic compound? Because electrostatic lines of forces are present in between these ions. So, it is called ionic compound. So, question number 4, 5th answer is A. You can get the A answer. Now, we can see here question number 6. For two ionic solids CaO and Ki, identify the wrong statement among the following. Here my dear students, wrong statement about the this solid CO and Ki. CO has high melting point. My dear students, 
when ionic solids have high melting points. So, it is a correct answer. Lattice energy of CO is much larger than that of Ki, yes. Ki has high melting point, Ki has high melting point, yes, because here he say the wrong answer, you can give the wrong answer. So, Ki has high melting point, Ki is a soluble in benzene, no, why? Because my dear students, Ki is, this is the concept of this question, Ki is ionic compound. Ki is ionic compound, so it dissolve in in water while organic compounds or which are called covalent compounds, covalent compounds or dissolve in or dissolve in benzene. So, my dear students answer is D because K is not soluble in benzene. Now, we can go to the question number 7. For orthorhombic system, axial ratios are A is not equal to B, B is not equal to C and the axial angles are, my dear students axial angles are when you can see in NCRT or in book axial angles and these ratios are always given by 7 crystal system and in 7 crystal system one of the orthorhombic system in which alpha is equal to beta, beta is equal to gamma that equal to 90 degree. So, answer is B question number 7. Now, we can see the question number 8. This question is also asked in NEET 2013. The number of carbon atoms per unit cell of diamond unit cell is, what is the theory and concept of this question? Here diamond means it is a allotrop of carbon. So, my dear students diamond is like, like ZNS zinc sulphide and ZNS FCC structure is present. So, my dear students in FCC structure here 1 upon 8 into 8, 8 atoms are present, but 1 atom only participated for the unit cell that is 1 upon 8. Here number of carbon atoms per unit cell. So, here plus in FCC structure individual phase one atom is present and six phases are present, but these six atoms are participated by the one by two. So, my dear students, you can see here four are present in this diamond structure and these are the atoms. Here these are the corners atom, corners atom and the, these are the center atom. Plus my dear students, four are tetrahedral voids. So, total you can get the eight. So, my dear students question number eight answer is eight. Question number eight answer is eight. Now, we can take the question number nine. Here you can see in question number nine in a phase centered cubic lattice a unit cell is shared equally by how many unit cells? My dear students, FCC. You can see the FCC structure. Here you can see the FCC structure. In this FCC structure, here these are the corner atoms. and in central atom here, one atom is present in center of the face. So, my dear students in this way, you can see here, this is the FCC structure. These are six phases, one, two, three, four, five, six, six phases are present and which is shared equally by six different units because in this phase, one unit, second unit, third unit, 
फोर्थ यूनिट फिफ्थ यूनिट एंड सिक्स यूनिट सो यू कैन गो टू द आंसर सी इन ए फेस हंड्रेड क्यूबिक लेटिस ए यूनिट सेल इज शेड इक्वली बाई हाउ मेनी यूनिट सेल्स हाउ मेनी यूनिट सेल दैट इज सिक्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑल्सो आज इन टू थाउजेंड फाइव नीट एग्जाम नाउ माई डिस्ट वी कैन गो टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन वन जिंक कन्वर्ट्स फ्रॉम मेल्टेड स्टेट टू इट्स सॉलिड स्टेट इट हैज एस सी पी स्ट्रक्चर देन फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ नियरेस्ट आइटम्स माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन एस सी पी स्ट्रक्चर इन इन एस इन एस सी पी स्ट्रक्चर यूनिट सेल यूनिट सेल इज हेक्सागोनल एंड कॉर्डिनेशन नंबर इज ट्वेल्व an scp structure unit cell is hexagonal so coordination number is 12 so your answer is c number 10 you get answer c now we can see here question number 11 the fcc crystal contains how many atoms in each unit cell here my dear students you can see here in fcc 1 upon 8 at corner multiply by 8 plus 1 upon 2 multiply by 6 then here 3 and here one so total you can get the four atoms how many atoms in each unit cell in fcc crystal that is four atoms are present in fcc in each unit so my dear students answer is your c 11 question answer is c now we can go to the question number 12 the number of atoms contained in a fcc unit cell of a monoatomic substances my dear students here the number of atoms same question is here in fcc you can see the 1 upon 8 into 8 plus 1 upon 2 into 6 6 faces these are the faces six faces are present here these are the corner atoms corner atoms are 8 and this corner atoms are multiplied by 1 by 8 then my dear students you can get the four so answer of this question is 4 question number 12 answer is 4 now we can see a question number 13 here my dear students a compound is formed by cation c and an ion a the anions form hexagonal close packet scp lattice and the cations occupy 75% of octahedral voids the formula of the compound is this question is as in neat 2019 here you can get the theory and concept here my dear students number of number of atoms per per unit cell in scp that equal to 6 number of octahedral voids that equal to 6 number of anions per unit cell that equal to 6 number of octahedral voids occupied by carbon plus that equal to 6 into 75 upon 100 and that equal to 9 by 2 so my dear students formula of the compound of the compound that equal to C nine by two A six, or you can say here this divided by two when when divided by two, so you can get the C nine and A three, or you can divide by this three, then you can get the. 
you can get here C 3 and A 4. So, your answer is C 3 and A 4. This is the concept my dear students number of atoms per unit cell 6, number of octet by 6 because here in SCP here you can take the here SCP structures and in this SCP structure number of atoms per unit cell is 6. Number of octahedral by 6, number of anions per unit cell is 6. So, number of octahedral by occupied by carbon 6 into this percentage 75 percent occupy of cation. So, 9 by 2 here cation for C for cation and A for anion and number of anions per unit cell that is that equal to 6 it is A for anion or this is called A and this C for cation. Now, my dear students we can go to the question number 14. In calcium fluoride having the fluoride structure the coordination number for calcium ion and fluoride ions are here my dear students you can see here. concept fluoride structure is a important structure my dear students. So, important structure this is a fluoride structure and you can get the CF in fluoride structure. Calcium ions are in FCC. So, my dear students CA plus 2 ion is connected connected to 4 fluoride ions below and above. So, coordination number is equal to 8, 4 is connected above for this C A plus 2 ions and 4 is present below. So, coordination number of C A plus 2 ions is 8. Now, we can see here for fluoride ion, it is also F C C, but coordination number that equal to 4 because 4 calcium ions are attached with this fluoride single fluoride ion. So, here my dear students 8 and 4 is answer. So, you can go the answer C 8 and 4. Now, we can take the question number 15. This question number 15 is asked in near 2016 my dear students. In this question question number 15 the ionic radii of A plus and B minus ions are 0.98 into 10 to the power minus 4 10 meter and 1.81 in 10 to the minus 10 meter. The coordination number of each ion in A B is here my dear students you can see here see that is the formula and theory. Here you can see the ionic radius ionic radius is the R plus upon R minus. R plus is the cation is 0.98 into 10 to the power minus 10 and anion is 1.81 into 10 to the power minus 10. In this way you can divide it both and when you calculate this these are the cancelled point is removed 98 upon 181 it means you can get the 0 0.541. My dear students this ionic radius it lies it is between it is between that 0 0.414 to 0 0.732 hence coordination number of each ion will be 6 and compound structure and compound structure is an SL type and its arrangement is octahedral arrangement. arrangement is octahedral arrangement. So, here my dear students you can see here 0.541 you are obtained. 
so it is between 0 0.4142, 0 0.37, 0 0.732 and in this range coordination number of each ion will be 6. So, my dear students you can go the answer C question number 15 answer is C. Now, my dear students we can go to the question number 16. The number of octahedral voids per atom present in a cubic closed packet structure is my dear students that is the octahedral void it is a theoretical question you can go to the answer A. The number of octahedral voids because there are cubic closed packet structure per atom octahedral voids is only one you can get. Now, we can go to the question number 17 structure of mixed oxide is cubic closed packet CCP. The cubic unit cell of mixed oxide is composed of oxide ions one fourth of the tetrahedral voids are occupied by divalent metal A and the octahedral voids are occupied by a monovalent metal B. The formula of the oxide is here my dear students you can see here the theory of this question. Here you can see the number of atoms. Number, number of atoms in CCP structure. Here you can see the CCP structure. So, number of atoms in CCP that equal to 4. So, here in oxide ion these are present. Now, we can see here number of tetrahedral voids number of tetrahedral voids that equal to 2 into n here n is equal to 4. So, you can see here that is 2 into 4 that equal to 8 you can get the number of octahedral voids that is 8. Now, we can see here number of a 2 plus ions that equal to 1 upon 8 or you can see here 8. So, 1 upon 4 into 8, 1 upon 4 into 8 and you can 1 upon 4 into 8 and when you can divide this you can get 2. Number of a plus 2 ions that equal to 2. Now, we can see the number of number of octahedral voids that equal to number of B plus ions and that equal to n that equal to 4. Now, what is the ratio? We can get the ratio O2 minus ions versus B plus ions that equal to 4 is to 2 is to 4 or you can say here 2 is to 1 is to 2. So, your formula is here 2. So, you can see here A B 2 2 A B 2 and O 2. So, this is the formula of the compound. A, B 2 and O 2. So, question number 17 you can get the answer D and this question is asked in 2012 my dear students. Here structure of mixed oxide is cubic close the unit cubic unit cell of mixed oxide is composed of oxide ion here you can get the oxide ion one fourth of the tetrahedral voids are present one fourth of the tetrahedral voids are present are occupied by divalent metal here this is divalent metal 1 upon 4th multiply by the 8 to get 2. A and the uh, divalent metal A and the octahedral voids are occupied by monovalent metal B. Here number of octahedral voids number of monovalent here only plus 1 charge is present here octahedral voids are present here and that n is equal to 4 here. 
now we can see here ratio of oxide ion and p plus ions that equal to 4 is to 2 4 is to 2 is to 4 so you can get uh, this is 4 4 is to 2 is to 4 so you can get here 4 is to 2 is to 4 then it is divided by 2 whole number 2 is to 1 is to 1 it is a simplest ratio and it is a complex ratio. Now we can see a simplest ratio then formulas A, B2, O2. In this way you can solve this question my dear students. I give you theory and concept. Now we can go to the question number 18. A solid compound XY has an NaCl structure. If the radius of the cation is 100 picometer, the radius of the anion will be. Okay, my dear students, you can use the formula. Here NaCl, you can use the R plus upon R minus that equal to 0.414. This formula is used and uh, radius of cation that equal to 100 picometer and you want the radius of anion. So, put the value my dear students here 100 upon R minus that equal to 0.414 R minus that equal to 0.414 R minus is equal to this is 100 upon R minus or R minus is equal to 100 upon 0.414 and you get the answer when you can divide this 100 upon 0.414 then you can answer the 241.5 picometer. 241.5 picometer is the correct answer of this question. This is the question number 18 and you get the correct answer. First of all my dear students you learn this formula and when you learn this formula NaCl R cation that equal to R cation upon NN that equal to 0.414 then you can get here. Now we can see the question number 19. In question number 19, a compound formed by element X and Y crystallizes in a cubic structure in which the X atoms are at the corners of a cube and the Y atoms are at the face centers. The formula of the compound is, my dear students, you can see here what is the theory and concept. Theory and concept. Here in a in a unit cell X atoms at the corner that equal to 1 upon 8 into 8. So, that equal to 1 in a unit cell. Now, we can see here Y atoms at the faces that equal to 1 upon 2 into 6 that equal to 3. Now, ratio, ratio of x and y that equal to 1 is to 3. Hence, formula, formula is x y 3 is the correct formula x y 3. So, my dear friends, question number 19 you can get the A option is the correct answer x by 3. Now, my dear students, we can go to the question number 20. In a cube of any crystal, A atom placed at every corner and uh, B atom placed at every center of his, the formula is. Here, my dear students, what is the concept and theory? We can see here A atom R8 corners that equal to 8 in cube number of atoms per unit cell number of atoms per unit cell that equal to 8 into 1 upon 8 that is 1. Now, my dear students, B atom R at face center
of six faces number of b atoms that equal to 6 into 1 by 2 that equal to 3. So, here my dear students you can get either 3 for b and you can get for a you can get the 1. So, your answer is a b 3 question number 20 answer is b that is a b 3. This question is also asked in my dear students need 2000 exams and you can solve in this way. Now, we can go to the question number 21. Here in crystals of which one of the following ionic compounds would you expect maximum distance between centers of cations and anions. Here my dear friends your answer is cesium iodide because in first group lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium and cesium atomic size is increases, atomic size is increases. So my dear friends maximum atomic size presence in cesium. So, your answer is cesium and iodide because here fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine atomic size is also increases when we move top to bottom in a group. So, cesium and iodine form a maximum distance due to its atomic size. So, you can go the answer A question number 21. Now, we can see the question number 22. The second order breaks diffraction of x-ray with lambda 1 angstrom from a set of parallel planes in a metal occurs at an angle 60 degree the distance between the scattering planes in the crystal is here my dear students you can see the formula first of all and learn the formula here formula is n lambda that equal to 2d sin theta here you can say the theta is equal to 60 degree angle here you can see the lambda is equal to 1 angstrom. Here you can see the n. Here n is equal to 2 because distance between the, the second order breaks. Second order n is equal to 2. Now we can determine the d. Here we can put the values n 2 lambda 1 2 into d and do sin 60. My dear students 2 is equal to 2d and sin 60. What is the sin 60 my dear students? It is a root 3 by 2. So, my dear students it is a root 3 by 2. 2 upon 2d that equal to root 3 by 2. Uh, these are the cancelled. You can also call this. 1 upon d that equal to root 3 by 2 or d is equal to 2 upon two upon root 3 and this is the 1.15 angstrom. When you can solve this you can get the density that is 1.15 angstrom. So, so my dear students this is answer 1.15 angstrom. Now, we can go to the question number 23. Here in this question the intermetallic compound Li Ag crystallizes in cubic lattice in which both lithium and silver have coordination number of 8. The crystal classes when my dear students coordination number of 8 it means it is a BCC type structure you can get the in coordination number 8 BCC consists 8 coordination number or 8 atoms in the center. Now, we can go to the question number 24th. The fluoride structure the coordination number of Ca plus 2 ion is it is 8 my dear students Ca plus 2 ions is just with this fluoride and and get the 8 coordination number. Now, we can go to the question number 25. Here my dear students it is also as you need 2020 and here formula is used. What is the question here? An element has a body centered BCC structure with a cell age of 288 picometer. The atomic radius is here, my dear students. In 25, this formula of R is equal to root 3 by 4 into A. A is the age that is equal to root 3 by 4 into 288 picometers. And when you can solve this problem, 
and you can answer get the a because in a answer is directly given by you lengthy calculation is not given so root 3 upon 4 into 288 and for the bc structure you can get this formula and get the radii now we can see that question number 26 the back end space in bcc lattice unit cell is my dear students question number 26 is the peking efficiency theory of this question peking efficiency of bcc lattice that equal to 60 8 percent and empty space is that equal to 32 percent. So, my dear students here he want the empty space. So, question number 26 you can go the answer C and this question is also asked in 2008 then 2015 in neat exam. Now, we can see the question number 27 here if A is the length of the side of the cube the distance between the BCC atom and one corner atom in the cube will be here my dear students it is a direct question and in BCC you can get the answer D because A is the length here side of a cube the distance between the body strain atom and one column root 3 by 2. You can get the answer question number 27. Now, we can go to the question number 28. Here my dear students you can use the formula for solve this question. Here it is a FCC type crystal that is and what is the formula of FCC that is R is equal to A upon 2 root 2, 2 root 2. Here A, A is the 408 picometer upon 2 root 2 and when you can solve this problem, you can get the 144 picometer because only calculation is there. After that calculation, you can get the answer C, 144 picometer. First of all, you take the 2 root 2 root 2 multiply by 2 and divide by this 408. Now, we can go to the question number 29. Here AB crystallizes in a body centered cubic lattice with edge length A equal to 387 picometer. The distance between two opposably charged ions in the lattice is. Now, my dear students, we can use the formula to solve this problem because it is a BCC type structure. So, in this BCC type structure, you have 2 into R plus plus R minus. This is the distance between two oppositely charged ions and that equal to root 3 into A. Here my dear students, root 3 into A is the equal to 387 picometer given in the question. And you can see here this R plus plus R minus that equal to root 3 into 387 divided by 2 and you can get the 335 picometer answer. When you multiply this root 3 multiply this 387 divided by 2, you can get this 335 picometer answer. So, my dear students, you can go the answer A. Here you always remember this formula. First of all, when you remember this formula, learn this formula, put the values and get the answer.